this is Malibu. And up there is the campsite. Up there, there's a freeway in between. That's the PCH. And then there's Cara and Romy. Beautiful beach. Beautiful Malibu beach. That's our little area over there, parked up there. And it's just so easy to get to and so inexpensive. And there's docks on the beach, there's graffiti. Awesome. Now, if you know my channel, then you know I shoot film and digital. This beautiful little pocket rocket happens to be my favorite Digicam digital camera in my collection. This is the Camedia Olympus C7070 wide zoom. So why is it my favorite? Why do I choose this chunky Digicam over the massively sought after pocketable digital cameras such as this 2.1 megapixel S100. Well, the S100, while it delivers wonderfully vintage, beautiful, creamy shots, doesn't have the full modes which I look for when I take a camera on my activities such as camping, beach days, bicycle riding, whatever it is I'm doing, I prefer to have a wider range of options. Now, I could go ahead and take a bridge camera with, uh, this beautiful Panasonic Leica Lens DMC. This has an 18 optical zoom and the ability to capture everything I could ever wish for. It is slightly cumbersome in its length, which is why I don't tend to take bridge cameras out with me. A good option then are these Camedia cameras. Now the 560, The 4040, the 4000, all of those are beautiful options, but this, the C7070, just coupled everything which I wanted in a Digicam. Which includes a fully articulating screen. Yes, you guys, you can take selfie videos with this. You could vlog with this camera. It records videos up to 20 seconds. Which are actually pretty fun. Now, they're not something you're gonna post and use for your YouTube videos, but as far as vibes go, when you go out in the bars or you go to the beach. It's good enough for some fun. Now that is a four times optical zoom with a five times digital zoom, which isn't Now that gives you a range, if this were a 35 millimeter SLR camera, between 27 and 110 millimeters. Now those are the sweet spots, you guys. If you know anything about photography, you know you love that 85 mil for those portrait shots. You like the 27 for those wide landscape shots. Now with regards to this particular camera, I love the fact that we've got that beautiful LCD screen on the back. Now I'm not gonna be able to adjust much on there and we're not gonna be able to check the focus too heavily on the back, but it gives me some kind of an example of what's going on with my image. You can see my shutter speed and my aperture is shown on that screen there. How many shots I have left on my CF or my SD card also. But with this wheel in A, aperture priority, I am able to adjust my aperture. You can see it there. 4.0, 4.5, 4 
etc. So that means I've got a minimum aperture or a wide open aperture of 2.8, which actually gives me some pretty good bokeh for my portrait shot. Adjust my aperture up to the 8 point whatever or 6.3 and just get more of my composition in shot. We do have a sport mode as well, S for sport, and that's going to capture those beautiful family moments of your people on the bouncy houses or running around, someone playing soccer. And the good news is that's 3.3 frames a second, but who cares about that? You guys, fully manual mode is possible. That means you can adjust your ISO, your aperture and your shutter speed in order to learn the triangle of exposure before you go ahead and spend all your money on Portra 400 and shoot film. The idea with these digi cams is they're gonna give you that beautiful digital camera vibe. without breaking the bank. Now the 7070 is a little more expensive. It comes in at around about $50 street price these days, which is a little bit pricey for a Digicam. You know, ever since King Japes hyped up the Digicams, these pocket rockets tend to go for a little bit more money. Now the S100 cost me $5, pretty cheap back then from a thrift store. Obviously that's where everybody gets them. But I did seek out this beautiful C7070. Now it's a 7.1 megapixel CCD sensor inside this camera. And the CCD vibes, as everybody knows, gives you beautiful color rendition. Is it going to be filmic? Uh, I'm not 100% sure about that. The vibes are more digital. And um, when I say that, you probably understand what I'm talking about. If you love Digicams, then you know what those digital vibes do and give you. Now it has that beautiful four times optical zoom, Mr. Fox there on the table, and then I can just Fire away my shot. Beautiful flash photography. Look at that. Absolutely wonderful. And as I said before, now what I can do is a little bit of a selfie. There's my video recording equipment there. Or I can just go ahead, hide the screen, take my images as if I were using a beautiful film camera. Hot shoe included. However, this does have a built-in flash, which was a game changer for me. I wouldn't have bought it if it didn't have that built-in flash. Now, the 7.1 CCD sensor, in my opinion, is more than enough for a digital camera. Shutter speed goes up to one over 4,000th of a second. So you're going to be able to freeze that frame and get those beautiful images of your family. Now, all in all, is it a good pocket camera in 2024? Absolutely yes. If you're looking for a digital camera, that you can take anywhere, then look no further. Top things I love about this camera, one, magnesium body, beautifully strong magnesium body. It is built like a tank. I use this camera when I go to the beach. Why? Because if I take a DSLR or an SLR, or I have to remove that lens and replace it, it has the chance of sand getting into the body of my camera and then ruining the sensor. This is completely sealed. It is magnesium outer and it is bulletproof. It is not waterproof, so don't throw it in the wash because it's not going to work anymore. But it's a lot stronger than those SLRs if I'm interchanging the lens. Number two, I like that articulating screen. Love, love, love an articulating screen for those awesome waist down shots when I just want to capture my family without them realizing I'm getting those images. Otherwise, they go ahead and they make funny faces and they say cheese, which I don't like. Battery then on this little beauty, it's about to run out actually, so I need to recharge it. That's how much I use this camera. Let me turn it off and I'll go ahead and show you the battery. Now I get my replacement batteries from Castar. They never let me down. So this lithium ion battery here then was $11, I believe, for the battery and the charger. Now this particular one, 
is the BLM-1 Olympus battery. It looks a lot like the Canon batteries and the Nikon um, batteries as well. So don't get confused. It does say Olympus on it though. Also, this particular battery I used with me for a camping trip on the weekend. Um, shot this camera all weekend and it didn't let me down. I have exposure compensation, which is wonderful. I have various modes at the top there. You can see macro. So that can focus into three centimeters on the macro. Now don't worry about all that, you guys. What you should be looking at is the fact that this and a strong competitor for going in your bag and being used for those Digicam vibes. It's a little bit thicker than the smaller Digicam. So it's not gonna go in those skinny jeans, hipsters, I'm afraid, but in a cargo pants pocket, boom. In a purse, in a backpack, no worries. Take this camera on holiday with you, and it really is all you need to capture those dope vibes. Alongside your decent cell phone, the iPhone 15 or whatever it is you're using, this is gonna be great for documenting your life. Just know with these old CCD sensors, you're getting a true color rendition without any AI interference. If you take a photo with your phone, artificial intelligence is getting involved and adjusting it. You are getting a digital representation of what is going on in the world when you use these old digicams, and that's why we shoot them. The Camedia Olympus C7070 wide zoom in 2024. This is hands down my favorite digicam I own. This is the one I would suggest going to look for. The 5060 is good also, but this, the 7.1 megapixel CCD, beautiful wide zoom, articulating screen, long battery life, magnesium body, absolutely beautiful. You guys, thanks for stopping in. If you do get this camera, leave in the comments what you thought of those images and let me know. I'm excited to go and shoot it some more. For now, I'm gonna charge that battery, edit some pictures and go from there. Thanks guys, see you on the next one.